Have you ever wondered what would happen if you managed to switch bodies with other people? Today, we are going to cover the story of a schoolboy who can pull this off. But how does he do it? And what is the trigger to switch bodies? And can he switch back? Watch the entire video to find out. Let's go. Anime begins with a guy named Yamada Ryu. He always nods off in class and arrives late consistently. He isn't particularly a good student, and his teacher scolds him for it. Meanwhile, a girl named Shireshi arrives in class and gives the teacher his journal book. Shireshi is a great student, excelling in her studies, and the teacher asks Yamada to be more like her. Later on, Yamada walks in the hallway where every student refers to him as the problem child, and Yamada is annoyed with them. Yamada sees Shireshi walking upstairs and tries to overtake her. He mistakenly slips down the sty RS and falls on top of her. The scene shifts to the infirmary where we see Yamada waking up in Shireshi's body. Yamada runs to the classroom and sees Shireshi in his body, giving perfect answers to the teacher and everyone is surprised. They both go to the rooftop and Yamada asks about the situation. Shireshi tells him that they switched bodies after falling on top of each other. She also mentions that if they do it again, they will get back to normal. Yamada wants to switch back, but Shireshi thinks she will faint again and miss her classes, so she suggests doing that after the break. Yamada doesn't know how he should act when he has control of a girl's body, so he does weird things with it until he becomes bored. Shireshi's friends invite him for lunch, unaware that Yamada is inside her body. They laugh when she has her lunch and don't treat her nicely. Soon, Yamada realizes that they aren't Shireshi's friends but rather the ones who bully her. He meets Shireshi on the rooftop and tells her that those girls are nasty. Shireshi tells him that they should switch back and apologizes for putting him in such a horrible experience. Yamada remembers how Shireshi used to be alone all the time as she was the honor student. Yamada tells Shireshi that she can take her classes now and turn back to normal after school. He also offers to scare off those bullies for her when he gets back to normal. But Shireshi tells him not to mess with those girls as she believes that he will make the problem worse. Sasaki, one of the bullies, approaches Yamada and hits him, thinking that it was Shireshi. Yamada, who was in Shireshi's body, decides to scare her off and plans to hit her, but Shireshi blocks the shot. Yamada and Shireshi argue with each other, and Sasaki runs away afraid. As they were about to fall from the stairs together, Shireshi thanks Yamada for standing up for her. They both fall from the stairs but don't change back. They try it again and again but nothing changes. Shireshi then tells Yamada that they kissed when they fell on top of each other and she thinks that if they do it again, they might change back. They both kiss and are able to get back in their original bodies. Meanwhile, Miyamura sees them kissing each other. They both kiss each other one more time to verify the truth and Miyamura notices them. He approaches Yamada in Shireshi's body and tells him that they had a date. Yamada thinks that Shireshi planned a date with him and decides to play along. As they walk together, some boys approach them and hit on Shireshi, and Yamada is annoyed. He scares them and chases them away without realizing that he was in Shireshi's body. Miyamura planned this entire thing to verify if they actually switched bodies. He now knows about Yamada and Shireshi's secret. Shireshi arrives there, and Miyamura proposes an offer. He tells them that he will keep their secret, and also provide them a room in school where they can switch bodies. In exchange, they have to join the Supernatural Research Club. The club activities were closed as no one was interested in joining. Miyamura wants to know if Yamada can switch bodies with anyone he kisses, so he kisses Yamada and they switch bodies. They decide to keep this a secret between them and decide to resume the club activity, with Shireshi as the president, Miyamura as the vice president, and Yamada as a member. A student named Miyabi hears about the resumption of the Supernatural Research Club and proposes to join. There wasn't any system to reject the new applicants, so they had to accept her into the club. Miyabi was interested in supernatural stuff and asked what they were going to research next. Miyamura, Shireshi, and Yamada didn't have any idea about supernatural stuff, so they could not answer the question. Miyabi shows her interest in supernatural stuff, so they also have to pretend like they are interested to continue with the club activities. They only resumed the club activities so that they could get the room. Miyabi brings some appliances for the club and decides to clean the room. As Yamada takes out the trash, he sees the exam results and realizes that he needs to retake exams for the subjects he failed. He cannot afford to fail again, so he asks Shireshi to switch bodies with him and take his exam, and she agrees to it. As they try to kiss each other, Miyabi arrives in the room to disturb them. Miyamura also comes to the room and tells Miyabi to fill out the registration form to join the club. She leaves the room for a while, and they kiss each other. As Shireshi and Yamada kiss, Miyabi arrives in the room and starts to cry. She thought that the students' council resumed activities and was excited, but seeing them kiss disappointed her. 
She tells them that she will take her revenge and runs away. The next day, Yamada arrives at the school and notices everyone talking about him and Shireshi kissing. Rumors of them kissing each other were spread everywhere, and there were even flyers spread throughout the school. Yamada finds out that Miyabi spread the rumors. This was her way of taking revenge. Yamada takes Miyabi to the club room and tells her to take back those rumors, but she refuses to do so. Miyabi tries to walk out of the room, but Yamada locks the door and tells her to kiss him. She refuses, but Yamada forces her and kisses her. They both switch bodies, and Yamada knocks Miyabi out. He takes a peek at her body and walks outside the room. He walks around the school to take back the rumors Miyabi spread but realizes that no one took Miyabi seriously. Miyabi often told lies about space and aliens in the school, and everyone labeled her as a liar. No one took her rumors seriously, and Yamada rests assured. He went back to the club room and didn't find his knocked body there. He searched the entire school for his body and didn't find it. He told Shireshi and Miyamura everything that happened and how Miyabi ran off in his body. He also told them how no one believed in Miyabi's rumors, but Miyamura wasn't surprised. He tells Yamada the same thing that the students told him, how no one believes in anything that Miyabi says. The three continue to search for her but don't find her. They decide to check Miyabi's body and see if they can find something there. They find a cell phone in her pocket and see some messages from some guys whom she owed money to. She brought fake supernatural stuff with a loan and wasn't able to pay it back. The guys tricked her and sold fake stuff for a profit. Yamada realizes this and runs to the location where they decided to meet up. We see those three guys beating up Miyabi in Yamada's body, and Yamada arrives there. They think it is Shireshi and decide to beat her up as well, but Yamada beats up those guys and brings Miyabi back to the club room. Miyabi apologizes for her behavior, and they all forgive her. Miyabi makes Yamada switch bodies with Shireshi, and then asks Yamada in Shireshi's body to kiss Miyamura. When they kiss, they actually switch bodies. Meaning, Yamada's soul is enough to switch bodies. His body is not necessary for the process. The students' council finds out about the resumption of the supernatural club activity and thinks that the sudden resumption is weird. They all decide to keep a close eye on the club activities. Miyabi has an interest in supernatural stuff, unlike those three people, and wants the development of the research club. She tells them that their club needs funding. She tried to talk with the student council's president but he didn't give her the budget. Others think that their club doesn't need any budget as things are nice and simple. Miyabi tells them that they can add a TV and a microwave in their room if they get their funding. This motivates Yamada to go to the president's room and ask for funding. He takes Miyamura with him and goes to the president's room. The president ignores their presence, and Miyamura tells Yamada that the president is super pervy and talks with girls only. Yamada becomes angry and tries to threaten the president but the president isn't scared at all and sends him back to the club room. Yamada is triggered and tries to work with another plan. They all kiss each other and switch bodies among themselves. Now, Yamada is in Shireshi's body and Miyamura is in Miyabi's body. As the president gives more attention to girls, they go to the president's room and try to convince him, but the president finds out the truth. He tells them that he can smell girls, even though it was a girl's body. He found out that there were boys inside. He tells them that he will give them a budget if they can convince Shireshi to study in college. Shireshi was a very talented student, but she was planning to stop her studies after school. If a talented student like her studied in their college, it would be a huge benefit to them. Yamada and the others try to convince Shireshi to go to college, but Shireshi refuses and tells them that she can learn things on her own. They all give up and decide not to force her for their benefit. Miyamura and Yamada encounter Odajiri Nin and her assistant. Miyamura was aiming to be the next student council president, and Odajiri tells Miyamura that she will be the next president. She was a competitor for the president's position, and Miyamura was worried if she would take his position. Miyamura wanted to bring Shireshi back and make the current president happy so he could get that position. He was doing it for his benefit. He convinces Yamada to help him. Shireshi and Yamada switch bodies in the club room. Yamada realizes that Shireshi was sick, so she switched bodies with him. She didn't want to miss classes, so she switched bodies. Miyamura tells Yamada that they should take a sick leave and go to Shireshi's home to find out the reason for her not wanting to go to college. As Yamada was in Shireshi's body, they easily get inside her home. Miyamura and Miyabi behave weirdly, so Yamada kicks them out of the house. Yamada rests in Shireshi's room and falls asleep. Later, Shireshi arrives there and switches bodies back with him. She tells Yamada that she won't go to college because she is always alone and doesn't want to be alone in college. She'd rather stay alone in her home. Yamada feels bad hearing this and tells her that he will go to college with her and convinces her to get admitted to college. 
Niyamura tells everyone in the students' council that Shireishi will study in college, and this surprises everyone. This increases his probability of becoming the president. Meanwhile, Shireishi, Yamada, Miyamura, and Miyabi get funding for their club room, and they buy new tools. We see that Yamada is going for a school trip. Since Shiraishi is also in class B, they exchange their bodies so Shiraishi can study on the bus and Yamada can interact with others. Shiraishi vomits on the bus due to motion sickness in Yamada's body, causing commotion. After reaching the destination, Shiraishi's condition gets even worse. Shiraishi's friends invite both Yamada and Shiraishi to hang out together, but due to Shiraishi's condition, she rests in Yamada's body. Yamada hangs out with Shiraishi's friends and wonders if these girls are monsters because they are too hyper. Afterward, Yamada checks on Shiraishi and is shocked to see her studying. He says he wants to change bodies, but she tells him to wait a little bit because she is about to finish her work. He then goes to have dinner with Shiraishi's friends, and afterward, they all go to take a bath. Yamada hurries to exchange bodies with Shiraishi, but doesn't find her and is forced to take a bath with the girls in Shiraishi's body. Shiraishi's friends are glad that she came to spend time with them, as she would have otherwise been absent from events like this. Yamada leaves the room and meets with Shiraishi, asking her why she came for this camping trip if she wanted to study. Shiraishi reveals she always wanted to participate in these kinds of events but had no idea how to deal with everyone, so she left everything to him. Yamada changes bodies with Shiraishi and tells her to spend time with her friends. He then heads to the cafeteria to eat but is called by Odejiri Nin, who shows him his pictures that she found in Shiraishi's bag. She wonders what will happen if she spreads the photo around the school, to which he defends himself, saying he was doing a favor to Shiraishi. After she shows him another picture in which he was staring at Shiraishi's panty, he is shocked. She reveals that if he accepts her condition, she will pretend that the picture never existed. She tells him to convince Shiraishi not to take part in the upcoming national mock test. Yamada tells everything to his friends Miyamura and Ito and asks for their help. Yamada decides to swap their bodies and delete that picture. His friends also agree with that decision. He calls Odejiri to meet outside and tells her to kiss him. She hesitates at first, but he gets closer to her and she eventually kisses him. After that, she goes to her room, but Yamada is shocked when he doesn't switch bodies with her. He tells everything to his friends, and they find out that his ability to change bodies has disappeared. The next day, he meets Shiraishi and tells her about what Odajiri told him. She states that missing that test doesn't really matter to her. The following day, Yamada enters his club, where Ito brings him lunch and acts weirdly. He asks Mayamura what's wrong with her but becomes surprised when Miyamura also gives him a lunchbox and acts strangely. Miyamura and Ito fight, saying Yamada is going to eat their lunch, but Yamada rejects both of them because he has his own. Yamada asks why they are behaving weirdly. Miyamura reveals they fell for him on the night of the school camping trip after they kissed him. Now they find out that Yamada lost his power to switch bodies with someone by kissing them and it has turned into the ability to charm them. They flirt with Yamada and feed him their lunch, which he finds creepy, and he turns them back to normal. They mention that they feel a sense of loss, exhaustion, and disappointment when the spell is undone. Miyamura says to Yamada that he has again gained godly powers by which he can make all the women in school his. Yamada says it's not like he needs a power like this. Yamada reveals that he still hasn't told Shiraishi that his power has changed. Miyamura says Shiraishi joined this club to switch bodies with Yamada, and if she loses that ability, she might stop coming to the club. So, they all decide to hide this information from Shiraishi. Yamada is about to leave the room when he meets Shiraishi. She tells him that she wants to switch their bodies, and she leans forward to kiss him. He rejects her, saying he has something to attend to. He goes to look for Odajiri, asking everyone on the way, but all of them deny seeing her. He approaches some students who were talking about Odajiri and tries to ask them about her, but they get scared of him and run away. Lunchboxes are delivered to Odajiri, revealing that she can also charm people by kissing them. Lucio comes by and asks why she kissed a guy like Yamada. She taunts him, saying he is jealous. She states that Yamada is late, and they come out of their hideout, surprised to see Yamada isn't coming after her. She wonders if the charm power didn't work on him. She reveals that for some reason, 
she hasn't been able to stop thinking about Yamada, and she goes to look for him. The scene shifts, and we see Yamada with Shiraishi. He reveals to her that his ability has been changed. Despite knowing his ability, she still tells him to kiss her. He kisses her, saying, don't blame me if something happens. Surprisingly, their bodies switch. They kiss again and return to normal. Shiraishi says that he mustn't kiss Otajiri anymore. We see that Otajiri and her friend were watching them from the bushes. After seeing them, Otajiri looks upset and leaves without saying any words. She states that her spell didn't work against him, and tears come out of her eyes. Her friend states how things turned out this way, and it's almost like she has fallen into her own spell. We see Yamada and Shiraishi talking. Shiraishi explains everything to Yamada and tells him to listen carefully. At first, she explains about the power that charms others, which Odajiri possesses. Yamada questions why he got Odajiri's powers. She reveals that it's his power. He again questions, saying wasn't his power to switch bodies. She reveals his power is to copy, and he ends up copying the power of anyone he had kissed. While talking, out of nowhere, Yamada gets kicked by Yushio. He angrily asks him what he did to Odajiri. He doesn't remember doing anything to her, and both men run forward. We see flashbacks of Yamada on his first day of school. He states nobody knows him there, and he can live the life of a normal student without fighting. He meets Ushio on the first day of school, and he says he doesn't want to hang out with him. He tries to make friends, but he sees that everyone is interested in studying only and wonders if he could make any. He again meets Ushio and taunts him, saying there is no hope for a guy like him making it in this school, and they again start fighting. The scene shifts, and we see Ushio is getting beat up by Yamada, and he asks why he is so obsessed with that woman. Ushio tells him to shut up and says he was the one who laid the trap on Odajiri. Yamada doesn't know what he is talking about, and he asks him why Odajiri is in love with him. Shiraishi understands the situation and explains everything at Ushio. Ushio says in order to turn Odajiri back to normal, Yamada just has to kiss her one more time. He goes to bring Odajiri to turn her back to normal, but Yamada refuses to accept his request because they had made his life terrible up till now. Ushio apologizes for everything that he had done to Yamada, and he tells him that he would delete the photo of him from the school camping trip. And he further states that he is ready to pull her from the school council president election too. He kneels in front of them and begs them to turn Otajiri normal. He still refuses, but Shiraishi tells him that he'll make Otajiri normal. Shiraishi tries to convince him by saying she will love her for the rest of his life. He states he is okay with that and jokingly tells her, are you being jealous? But she slaps him. She, however, convinces him to make her normal, and he accepts. Yamada tells her his backstory where Yamada and Ushio are going home together, but they see a group of bullies harassing a woman. Bullies try to beat them up as well, but Yamada and Ushio beat them instead. Next day, we see Yamada being suspended alone, and the teacher states there were two witnesses. One was his friend Ushio, and another was a female student from the same school. And due to this, he was hated by everyone in school, so he didn't want to help Odajiri. Out of the blue, his friends also arrived and sympathized with him. They all enter the room to turn Odajiri normal, but before that, she wants to talk to him alone. They all go outside, leaving Yamada and Odajiri alone. She expresses she couldn't concentrate in her class and was careless about her student council work. She was waiting for him in vain, but when she saw him, he was kissing Shiraishi. He leans forward to kiss her to make her normal, but she refuses and says she wants to stay like that. He kisses her and says he can't do that. He came out of the room, and Ushio hands him a book named Seven Wonders of Suzaki High School Volume 1, which was from Supernatural Studies Club. Yadama opens the book and sees the legends of witches and wonders about it. Ushio tells him students with power are known as witches. In that book, the powers of the witches are written including the power of telepathy and the power to charm. It mentions that other powers are detailed in Volume 2. Ito asked for Volume 2, but they replied saying they didn't have it. Ito mentions they have to look for other witches, but Yadama refuses to do so. Ito says, you are a witch detector, because he is the only person with whom the witch's powers don't work, and without him, they can't find them. He states he is fed up with these craps and doesn't want to get dragged in, However, Shiraishi convinces him, and they invite Bushio and Odajiri 
to their club to search about witches together, but they reject their proposal. The scene shifts, and we see three friends at the beach. Miyamura asks them about Yamada, and Shiraishi reveals that he got supplementary exams and lessons this year. The scene shifts again, and we see Yamada again fail his exams, and he has to retake them tomorrow. He returns to his room and finds his friends playing games. He asks them about the second volume of the notebook. They reveal they couldn't enter the room because the teacher who has the key to the club room hasn't shown up yet. Yamada complains about his supplementary exam, and Shiraishi tells him that she will help to pass by switching bodies. The next day, Yamada went to the beach in Shiraishi's body, and Shiraishi went to take an exam in Yamada's body. Everyone is shocked because Yamada was giving the right answers the class ends, and Atsuka Maiko says to Yamada if she can be friends with him, and Yamada agrees. She kisses him out of nowhere. Later, Shiraishi asks Yamato what kind of relationship he has with Atsuka. He says they are just giving supplementary exams together. She asks him if he has ever kissed, to which he denies. Shiraishi states that Atsuka is a witch too, because when she kissed Shiraishi in Yamada's body, they didn't switch bodies. She further states that Atsuka is after Yamada, and that's why she switched bodies because she doesn't know her intentions and how to deal with her without knowing her power. Yamada asks how he will pass his test without switching bodies. She tells him to pass it himself. In class, Atsuka apologizes for kissing him out of the blue. He grabs Atsuka and asks her what she is after. She tells him he is an entirely different person from before and tells him to forget what happened today. The scene shifts, and we see Yamada shocked when he finds Ushio and Odajiri with his friends. They reveal that they won't get a second volume of the notebook if they all don't pass the exam and suggest everyone should exchange their bodies with Shiraishi and cheat. Shiraishi tells Yamada to kiss Atsuka so they can find out about her power. They switch bodies, and he enters the girl's bath, but he doesn't meet Atsuka. After bathing, he comes out, and Shiraishi reveals that Atsuka is ready to kiss him, so he switches his body and goes to meet her. He kisses her and comes to his friends and kisses them as well to find out about his new power, but neither he nor his friends feel any difference. While sleeping, Yamada hears the loud noise of Atsuka in his head, and he tells his friends about that, but they thought he was dreaming. Atsuka reveals to him that her power is telepathy and tells him if he hears her, he has to come for training tomorrow morning. In the morning, Yamada arrives just like she said. She reveals to him that her power activates when she kisses someone. While talking through telepathy, he meets trainer Atsuka, who is extremely rude and strict. Atsuka's friends arrive, and they talk to him through telepathy, and he is surprised to see that they can also use telepathy. They reveal that once they have been kissed by Atsuka, they can share this power with everyone through her. Yamada realizes they can cheat using this power, and they all can pass exams. Yamada states that he basically masters telepathy, and he just needs answers for his exam. Then he finds that his friend Miyamura had also mastered telepathy. His friend Miyamura also mastered that power. He asks Miyamura how he mastered it so quickly, and he reveals just to imagine the face of a person he wants to communicate with. Yamada says he is having difficulty doing that. Shiraishi states if Miyamura and Yamada can telepathically communicate, they can easily pass the exam. Miyamura gives him the pictures of himself and Atsuka so he could use telepathy. Yamada is helped by his friend, and he helps Shiraishi and others too, and they all score good grades and exams. Now they are glad because the Supernatural Studies Club Room is about to open. The following day, they all go to check the club room, and they find it opened, but it was totally empty. Their teacher arrives and tells them other clubs have used this place and everything that was here got thrown out. Odejiri asks Miyamura whom he thinks had cleaned this room. He states only the president could do that. All of them spend their time at the beach, and at night they all light the fireworks. We see Yamada talking to Shiraishi. He states that Shiraishi was unhappy with the situation she was put in, and she got the power to switch bodies. Oda Juru wanted to gather allies to become student council president, and she got the ability to charm. Atsuka was bad at talking, and she got the power of telepathy. He reveals that witches' powers are something that they obtained because they wished for them, and he wonders what he has wished for. Shiraishi says, you wished for something too. He said he doesn't know and states he will find the answer if he met all the witches. That's why he decided to search for them. His friends arrived, 
and Yamada states he is the next witch. The story opens with Yamada and Miyamura at Sarushima's place, where they discover that she is also a witch. Yamada tries to enter the house by climbing the wall, but Sarushima arrives just in time. She asks for their help in rearranging her room, and despite their reluctance, they agree because they hope she'll reveal her power. After finishing the work, they attempt to talk with Sarushima, but she is sleeping. Yamada becomes furious, but Miyamura suggests it's the perfect time for him to kiss her to discover her power. Yamada agrees, but as he tries to kiss her, she wakes up and says, Save me, Yamada. Yamada desires to talk with her alone, and Miyamura gives him space. He questions her about what she meant by save me, and she reveals that she can see the future. She saw their old school building on fire, which led to her being blamed for the incident and avoiding school to prevent it. Yamada doubts her story, but she reminds him that he was also there during the fire incident and blamed for it. While talking, Yamada abruptly asks for a kiss, which she initially perceives as having bad intentions, but she kisses him, saying he's her only hope to prevent that future. The next day, Yamada tells his friends about a future event where he gets slapped by Oda Jiri, and it happens. He shows them a picture from his memory, showing him and Surashima in front of the burning old school building. Shiraishi asks Yamada about his power, and she reveals that it allows them to see the future from their partner's perspective. She shows him the picture and suggests that there was another person present. Yamada rushes to Sarashima's place and asks if she kissed anyone else. She admits to kissing her friend Tsubaki Kentaro by mistake, and Yamada goes to find him. He locates Kentaro at the arcade, and they head to the cafeteria to talk. Kentaro confesses his love for Shiraishi and asks Yamada to call her to the school courtyard. Yamada agrees and later informs his friends that the old school will catch fire that day. In the courtyard, Kentaro waits for Shiraishi, but Yamada arrives with his friend instead and asks Kentaro for a kiss to prevent the future. Kentaro refuses, leading to a confrontation where Miyamura intervenes but gets beaten up. Yamada then asks Shiraishi to swap bodies with him, and they successfully trick Kentaro into thinking Shiraishi reciprocates his feelings. However, Kentaro becomes devastated when he realizes the truth. Yamada kisses him to prevent the fire incident, and they explain everything about witch powers to Kentaro, who asks to join their club, to which they reluctantly agree. Afterward, Miyamura finds the next witch, named Takagawa, and reveals her power to see people's pasts. Odajuri and Mushio arrive and state that the second volume of the book vanished before the president cleared it out, and Takigawa was responsible. Following this, Yamada goes to talk with Takigawa. She tries to seduce him, and he thinks he could obtain her power, so he asks for a kiss, but she leaves, saying he is gross. She further states that she was teasing him and wasn't serious. Yamada becomes devastated after getting rejected and tells everything to his friends. He promises to kiss Takigawa next time. He tries to get close to her, but she hits him with the wiper. Yamada states that he wants to join her group, but she refuses. He reveals that he knows she is a witch and he is well informed about stuff like that. She drags him into the room, saying he should have said that sooner. She was about to kiss him, but he stops her and tells her to pretend this talk never happened. The scene shifts and we see Kentaro with a panicked look on his face, calling Yamada and Miyamura to their club room immediately. We see that somebody entered their club room and messed it up further. Moreover, volume one of the book was also not there. After that, the three friends of Takigawa hand her the volume one of the notebook, and she promises to make them witches. Yamada furiously breaks into the room of the school council president and grabs his collar, asking what Takigawa is after. He states that Takigawa is after eradicating all the witches in this high school. He further mentions that the students who get witch power are the ones who have a high level of anxiety or school-related stress, and once they leave the school, they leave their power behind as well. Takigawa uncovers people's weaknesses by looking at their pasts. She then uses that info to make them cause trouble. Now those students have problems at school too, and her next step is to getting them to inherit the powers and become the next set of witches. Yamada questions him, asking whether it is possible. He states since she has got her hands on both volumes of the witch's notebook, which means she is working on the second phase of her plan. He tells everything to his friends, and they decide to fight Takagawa. While Shiraishi was studying, 
a girl enters there and kisses her. They switch bodies and call her friends, but Shiraishi beats them all, and Shiraishi's friends arrive and try to stop them. We get to know that it was Yamada in Shiraishi's body, and he thanks Miyamura for making such an expert plan. Yamada brings up an idea to swap bodies with those three and meet Takagawa, but she figures them out. Yamada tells her that they'll leave her friends free if she leaves the witches alone, but she refuses his deal. Takagawa proposes another deal. In release of her three friends, she'll hand them the stolen notebook, but Yamada refuses. She asks him what they want, and he tells her to promise to stop trying to get witches expelled, which she refuses. After that, Yamada and his friends return to their club room, and he gets beaten up by his friends for not making any deals. Miyamura states they should use the charm power of Odejuri, but they said not to do so and promised to stop trying to get witches expelled. After hearing them, they let them go. After that, those three friends go to talk with Takagawa and leave. While leaving, Yamada arrives and states he wants to talk with Takagawa. He asks if she was going to control the whole school with her power. She replies, saying maybe. Yamada states she caused all those problems and made everyone hate those three. Takigawa angrily grabs Yamada and asks if they really wanted to cause trouble. She states that she knows his power and tells him to kiss her so he could find out about her power. He kisses her, and Yamada sees all her flashbacks, and he wakes up. He goes to see Takagawa, and she states she didn't have any other option than this, and we learn her power is to see someone's traumatizing past through dreams. He states that he saw in his dream she was locked in a locker of the school for hours, and a patrolling teacher rescued her. She states that her three friends' pasts are more traumatizing, and she wants to help them. She misunderstands Yamada and furiously tries to leave the room, but Yamada holds her and states that he came there to help her. She becomes emotional and states she wanted to help them from the beginning, but she hadn't even been able to do a thing until now and begs him to save them. While Yamada and Takigawa were talking, Takigawa's friends come, and one of them punches Yamada. Takigawa tries to stop them, but he doesn't listen, and he engages in a fight with Yamada. Yamada knocks him out and states that Takigawa is suffering because of them. They state they know that, but they don't know what they should do. Yamada states they should do something to make her smile. The next day everybody is preparing for the school fest festival, and we see Takigawa clinging to Yamada stating she is in love with him. Shiraishi reveals that Takigawa has a different ability. Both parties transmit their feelings and are able to open their hearts to each other. After decorating their club room, the Supernatural Club claims they can predict anyone's future. Furthermore, they are also selling yakisoba bread. Odejuri convinces her friend, Ushio, to check his future. He enters and finds Yamada in disguise. Yamada orders him to close his eyes for three seconds, then kisses him, revealing that he's going to receive an indirect kiss from Odajuri. Afterwards, Yamada kicks him out. Odajuri leaves and calls her friend to leave with her, giving him her bitten bread, and Ushio realizes this is the indirect kiss Yamada was referring to. We see that a lot of people had come to see their fortunes, which enabled them to sell every yakisoba bread. The scene shifts, and we see Yamada with Saroshima. She states that she wants to get rid of her power. Furthermore, she reveals that she wants to fall in love with someone, but due to her ability to see the future when she kisses anyone, she can't fall in love. After that, Yamada approaches a guy named Tamakai in the library. He asks him a favor and states that there is a witch who wants him to erase her power. Tamakai takes Yamada outside so he could demonstrate his power. There, he mentions that his power is to steal other witches' powers. Currently, he possesses a particular power that he stole from a certain witch. He calls a girl who was in a hurry and kisses her. She seems to be confused, and Tamaki lifts her skirt, but she slaps Yamada and leaves. He mentions that he becomes invisible to a person whom he kisses, and if he kisses a witch, his power will be gone to someone random, and he'll get that witch's power. Tamaki apologizes for not being able to help him, but Yamada, being stubborn, still insists. Tamaki kisses Yamada so he could disappear from his sight, but his power doesn't work on him, and we learn from Tamaki that Yamada also has the power of a witch killer. Tamaki reveals he is aiming for the seat of the council president next term, and he wants Yamada to find out who is going to succeed the president. He promises that if Yamada does that for him, then he is going to remove the power of the witch he mentioned. 
He goes to look for the president, but his secretary reveals that he'll have to wait for him because he is at the school's festival. Yamada agrees to wait for him. Some time later, the school council president arrives and Yamada questions who he is going to make the next school council president. He reveals he can't tell that. Yamada reveals he has Adajiri's power and he was about to use it on the council president, but his secretary knocks him out. When he regains consciousness, he finds himself hanging with his hands tied. The president asks him why he tried to kiss him and threatens to break his finger if he doesn't answer. He reveals there is a witch who wants to erase her power, and for her sake, he needed that info. Yamada returns to his friends and reveals that the council president stated that the person who will find the seventh witch will be his successor. After that, Yamada tells Tamaki to erase Sarashima's power, but he refuses to do so now and states if he kissed her now, his power will be received by a random person. Then there will be two unknown witches, which will make their work more difficult. Eddie promises to erase her power after finding the seventh witch. Yamada tells everything to Sarashima, and she kisses him out of joy. Yamada pauses for a moment, and Shiraishi asks what he saw in the future. He reveals that he saw her power disappeared. Yamada seems a little depressed, and Miyamura asks him what kind of future he saw. He reveals that Tamaki had become the school council president and Shiraishi had become his secretary. Miyamura questions what's the matter with that. Yamada states Shiraishi will be separated from them, and he further reveals that he is in love with her. Following day, Miyamura brings the list of first-year students who are causing troubles, and they start investigating. Otajiri approached Miyamura and revealed that Tameki lacks enthusiasm in being president. She stated that this is the battle between them and wished them the best of luck. Yamada and his friends gather at their club, and nobody had found anything about the seventh witch. Yamada suddenly kisses three of his friends, but surprisingly, his body-switching power didn't work. He mentions that Tamaki has used his ability on them, making himself invisible to them. Yamada tells they should use body-switching ability to outsmart him. Yamada and Shiraishi go out to swap the body, and he asks her if she is okay with swapping bodies cause it might take two to three days. She states she is fine with that. While Yamada was still talking, she kissed him and swapped bodies. Yamada states he wasn't emotionally ready yet, but she tells him to come to the club room. He mentions that he saw in the future she became the secretary of Tamaki and she had the same look on her face as she first time switched bodies and mentions that he didn't want to see her face like that. Shiraishi reveals that she doesn't have any intentions of going back the way she was back then and asks him to change her future. Their mission leads them to believe that the seventh witch's power involves invisibility, making their search even harder. Meanwhile, one of their own friends, Mia Murat, reveals a secret. She has a sister, Leona, who might hold vital information about the seventh witch. However, Leona is initially unwilling to help. As Yamada looks for answers, strange things start happening, like unexpected body swaps and scary moments with scissors. These show how risky their situation is. Leona eventually agrees to help but warns Yamada of the heavy price of pursuing the seventh witch. If he discovers her identity, he will lose all memories related to the witches. Despite the risks, Yamada learns that the seventh witch is Rika Sayanji. But after a while, he is shocked to find that instead of losing his own memories, everyone else loses their memories of him. This twist of fate leaves him isolated, only recognized by Shiniki Tamaki, who shares a similar immunity to witch powers. During these challenges, Yamada confesses his feelings to Shiraishi, telling her he likes her. However, she reveals she has feelings for someone else, which breaks Yamada's heart but fuels his determination to restore her memories even more. Nino Dajiri then tries to use her charm powers to manipulate Yamada with her charm powers, urging him to join her side. Eventually, Yamada and Tamaki think about working together to confront the student council president, who is behind the erasing of memories. They realize that the behavior of the witches is causing trouble at school, making it urgent to fix their supernatural problems. As Yamada deals with the challenges of witch powers, Nin Odejiri says she can help him get Shiraishi back if he kisses her. When they kiss, Shiraishi sees them, which makes things even more complicated. Yamada tries to explain what happened, but at first, Shiraishi doesn't want to listen. After a while, she agrees to hear him out because she's been feeling unsure about her feelings. This gives Yamada a chance to try to fix things. 
During a conversation with Shiraishi, Yamada realizes she has lost all memories of her involvement with the witches and their powers. Shiraishi, shockingly, does not remember her own experiences with the witches or her supernatural powers. Yamada attempts to convince her of their past adventures and even suggests that a kiss could trigger her memories. Shiraishi, skeptical and unsure, declines. However, as they talk more, Shiraishi starts feeling emotional and misses the club room, even though she doesn't remember why. Realizing this is important, Shiraishi decides to trust Yamada. She agrees with his idea that a kiss might bring back her memories. This shows Shiraishi's trust in Yamada and her willingness to find out the truth, despite not remembering their past together. As Yamada deals with these tricky situations, he meets Nino Dajiri. She suggests that a kiss might bring back the lost memories, but only for the witches, not others like Miyamura. This shows them that restoring memories with a kiss only works sometimes, not for everyone. Lucio Igarashi, one of Nino Dajiri's followers, wrongly accuses Yamada of misusing his copy power to spread the memory wipe. During their intense discussion, Yamada clarifies that the real reason for the memory issues is linked to his interaction with Odajiri. At the same time, the student council, led by President Yamazaki, is getting worried about the witch's powers. Yamada talks to another witch, No Takigawa, who tells him that if all seven witches come together, they can grant any wish. This powerful ability worries them because it could lead to big problems. Learning this, Yamada feels even more driven to bring all the witches together to fix the memories and stop any bad plans the student council might have. Yamazaki, who knows the risks, tries to control the situation. His intentions and past actions are questioned throughout the episode, as it is getting clear that Yamazaki truly doesn't care about those around him and is using them for their powers. We see that there's an upcoming student council ceremony Yamada and his friends are waiting for. As the time for this ceremony gets closer, Yamada and his friends rush to organize a meeting of all the witches to prevent the ceremony from permanently altering their realities. During this busy time, Shiraishi is confronted once again by Yamada, who is desperate to restore her memories through a kiss. In a tense moment, as the group works hard to gather the witches, the complexities of their pasts and the hidden truths of their abilities begin to surface more clearly. The past connections and hidden truths about their powers start to become clearer. Shiraishi struggles with her emotions and faces a crucial decision about trusting Yamada and the bizarre reality he describes. Yamada is determined to fix the problems in their school life caused by the supernatural events, and the witches are slowly coming together. The journey of Yamada through these challenges shows his strong will to keep his friendships intact, creating a stage for more adventures and mysteries. In a surprising turn of events, Ryu Yamada finds out that Shiraishi, the witch he loves, has accidentally switched bodies because of the witch's powers and she is in a lot of trouble and pain. The witch with Shiraishi's body is now questioning Yamada's knowledge about the witches. She tells him that if all the witches are brought together, they will have the power to grant whatever wish a person wants. Determined and a bit confused, Yamada is set on his mission to bring all the witches together. He wants to fix the body-swapping chaos and make things right at school, not just because he's in love, but also to prevent a big mess for everyone. As Yamada tries to solve these problems, he asks his friend Toranosuke Miyamura for help. But Miyamura instead makes fun of him and tells him that Yamada is interrupting his movie night. Yamada keeps begging Miyamura. Just then, Leona calls Yamada instead, saying she could help him. She also reveals that she is one of the seven witches. This leads to a funny but tense moment with Yamada and Leona, who laugh at his desperate efforts without realizing how serious the situation is for Shiraishi. After meeting Leona, it is now clear that if all seven witches come together, they have the power to grant any wish. This discovery makes Yamada's mission even more urgent as he tries to bring them together to fix everything. Suddenly, all of Yamada's friends remember who he is. They try telling him that everything felt weird and out of place the whole time. Then it is soon discovered that a student named Tamaki has invisibility powers he shouldn't have. This leads to a shocking plan by the school president, who wants to use one of the seven witches to give the powers back to their original owners. In another scene, we see Rika demanding certain conditions to participate in the ceremony. Yamada, caught in a web of emotional and supernatural conflict, 
must negotiate with her while dealing with the fear of losing Shiraishi forever because of a spell gone wrong. In a touching part of the story, Leona uncovers part of the mystery but finds herself in danger of having her memory erased. The threat of the witch's powers hangs over everyone, making every choice critical and full of potential consequences. Yamada and the witches come together for the important ceremony. Everyone is feeling a mix of hope and worry. During the ceremony, Yamada shows great leadership as he works with the witches, who are all nervous about what comes next. The ending of the ceremony brings a big surprise. Instead of wishing for everyone's memories to come back, Yamada wishes to remove all witch powers from the school forever. This selfless decision aims to prevent any more chaos. After everything calms down, Yamada and Shiraishi have a quiet moment together. Yamada opens up about his love for her and how scared he was of losing her. This touching scene shows how much they've been through together. Shiraishi, touched by his honesty and courage, shares her feelings too, promising a future together without the troubles of supernatural powers. Yamada and Shiraishi are ready to start fresh, their bond is stronger because of what they've faced, and their school is now a safer place.